and he's well, Grandpa was next to me translating. So it is not out of my arrogance that I'm sitting here, but I'm only sitting here. I think even a, an animal in the zoo would be ashamed to accept all this worship. It's not fun. Somebody goes to your feet. That's what I'm saying. It's very. Uh, one time uh, we were given a big meal by a household in South Indian Shaibites, and after the meal they said, well, we've gotten rid of a lot of bad karma today. <laughs> I wanted to throw up. They were giving us the best. So Sri Damar said, I'm only sitting here on behalf of my Guru Maharaj, who could not be here today because he had business on another dimension. Well, this is the only day to say this uh, pastime, though. And it happened also from when I asked Bhakti Raptak Sridhar Maharaj, which turned out to be an inappropriate question. So I'm sitting uh, in front of him. Just, uh, have you seen how he sits? That's called a Morris chair. It's for people with a heart condition. And he sits back in his long arms, and it looked like a throne. Man. If you glinted your eyes a bit. And I asked him this question. He said, well, what does a disciple do to prepare for the disappearance of his spiritual master? This is 1967-68. What does it do? How should we prepare for Prabhupada's Swami Maharaj's uh, after his disappearance? That is unthinkable. You cannot think that you would ever be separate. Devastating thing. And then he told me, Rabindranath Das Goswami, who's, who's so sorrowful at the disappearance of Sanatana Goswami. So then, <coughs> soon later, Rupa Goswami's disappearance comes, and he was devastated. So he writes, Rabindranath. I tell the story, and some people don't get it, but maybe I don't tell it right. Rabindranath Das Goswami says. So I will go to the happiest places of Radhakrishna Lila. I'll go to Shankun Radhakun Govardhan. He goes, I go to uh, see at, at night. I go to Radhakund, and all I see is a dark open mouth of a tiger ready to swallow me up. So I turn to Shankund, and all I see is the open mouth of a lion ready to swallow me up. I run to Govardhan Hill. And you've been there to long snakes. And I see the open mouth, dark mouth of a python ready to swallow. There is no, no uh, comfort to know that now I will never see my Guru Maharaj again in this <coughs> life. Hmm. i got to stop there. Because hmm. from now on it will be happier, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this morning we were speaking about the journey of the soul. So it was when Gurudev called on me to speak in about 2004 or 5 uh, on the statements of our Srila Prabhupada and Srila Gurudev to prove that we didn't fall from Goloka Vrindavan. So as I was standing there, uh, Gurudev ordered me, as I was standing there, to make the book. So then we were working on it and working on it, gradually, gradually. And meanwhile, every time it was Prabhupada's sannyas ceremony day or disappearance or appearance day, Gurudev would make an announcement that um, so Shamarani has compiled all these quotes of Srila Prabhupada to show his real mission. So then it was 2009, and we were in Durban, and I said to uh, Gurudev, so Gurudev, we have one last question, and then we can print the book. He said, you haven't printed the book yet? I said, no, I have one last question. He said, oh my god. Then we hurried up more. And speaking of hurry up, um, 
Sri Padban Maharaj mentioned this morning the book booklet, uh, Our Gurus, One in Siddhanta and One at Heart. So that was actually a compilation of two reputations. One by uh, Prem Priyogana Prabhu and some of us helped him with a reputa reputation to protect Gurudev's honor. You know, there was an attack. And then the other one um, I was doing, and he and a few others were helping to make it happen. So happening, 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 it still hadn't happened. So we were in Badger, and we were actually in the middle of working on it, and Gurudev from his house, he had someone come and get me. So when I went to see him in his garden, he said, so when will you finish it, after I die? <laughs> and then another um, similar type of experience. Um, somebody wrote on the internet that Prabhupada is in Sakirat. So I spoke with Gurudev on the phone. He said, I definitely want you to do an article to prove who he really is. And, uh, at that time, Gurudev was resting and writing and I was going from city to city, selling his books and giving classes. And then I was going to meet him very soon in Hawaii. So he said, I'm feeling separation from you. And then I didn't say anything then, but it was just so confusing to me how a peer to go you can feel separation from a fallen conditioned soul. So when I was in Hawaii, I said, what did you mean by that? He said, I'm feeling separation from your writing articles. <laughs> and um, to encourage me in that area of writing to protect his, uh, his amazing pure self. Um, in the year 2000 in Holland, he said, uh, if anybody says anything bad about me, Shamarani cuts his argument. Even I don't know if I can say this because I start laughing. Even if Lord Brahma would say something about me, she would cut his argument. He likes that. I'll share just a drop about um, the Seva Crunch since I was requested to say something. Uh, and since the topic of Allah Krishmanjali came up this morning. So, one of the um, talks that Gurudev gave about Allah Krishmanjali was around verse 52 or 54, where um, the gopis are engaging in joking conversations. And they're remembering how Krishna was upset that, um, that Radharani was submissive for a while. And he said, this doesn't give me so much pleasure as it does when she's in Vanyavav, or uh, contrary nature. So he wanted to do something to get her upset. And so, not only did he come late, but when he saw her, he said, Oh, my dear Chandra, and then he stopped short, as though he had made the mistake of thinking she was Radharani's chief rival, Chandravali. So he said, Oh, my dear Chandra, Anani, and then changed the second half of it, Anani meaning um, face, and Chandra meaning your face is as beautiful as the moon. Um, like he had caught himself. So she said, okay, that's it. And then you know, he did the picture. By the way, he posed for that. He posed for that painting. He posed for Krishna's hand saying, what more can I give you? I put my fruit, my prized possession at your feet. What more can I give you? Please forgive me. Put your head on my, your feet on my head. Be magnanimous like that. So here he's saying, oh, Chandra Anani, and she's saying, that's it, I don't want to have any more relationship with you. <laughs> um, so Gurudev said that this is one of the pastimes of this scene here, but there are actually lakhs and lakhs of pastimes within this picture. The other one is um, that Krishna came late, but then he became so absorbed in Radharani's face that he just was looking at her eyes with her kajal and looking at... Um, her beautiful lips with her uh, lipstick on. And so he was so much absorbed in it that the signs came on him. Like Maharaj mentioned this morning that the signs come on the mantras. Well, her 
any signs when he gets absorbed in it, it comes on him. So he got kajal on his lips and her lipstick on his cheek. And she thought he had just come back from another lover. So she got sarcastic and said, Oh, um, oh, you look so beautiful, just like Neil Rohit Rudra, a combination of red and blue. So in this way, she's also going like this. And Gurudev uh, posed for Radharani as well. And um, he not only posed for this picture, uh, he posed for the Manjaris, he also posed for the painting of uh, the cover of, uh, what is that? Cover of Bhagavad Gita. He posed, yes, for the horses. <laughs> he went cross-eyed, made his ears go up, uh, and made his hands go up. And I had to show him the painting several times before he finally said, yes, this is it. And he took the pose so many times. Just like Prabhupada, some 30 years earlier, took the pose for Lord Nishringadev, crossing his eyes and going like this and saying, Oh Lord, in your lotus palms you have long lotus nails with which you ripped apart the wasp-like demon in the Kashipu. And in those days I didn't have any photographs. I mean, I didn't use a camera. Like, when I was painting for Gurudev, we always had a camera, so the person who posed only had to pose for a minute. So, uh, Prabhupada posed, and then I wanted to really remember it, so I said, oh, could you do that again? And he immediately did it again. And, you know, it hurts to cross your eyes. And he also posed for the cows. Gude posed for the cows in the Venugi painting. Um, you know, he said that the cow's ears became like cups. And he went like that to show that. And uh, he gave so many interesting instructions while I was doing the paintings. Like, um, you know, in the vein of the painting, Balaram is a front. Looking at Balaram would be around when knowing that Radharani wants and Krishna wanted to meet. But he's looking back, that shows the, the viewer that he knows what's happening and he's per personally going ahead. So, you know, he's carrying this um, buffalo horn. So I said to Gurudev, you know, isn't it violent? to uh, carry a buffalo horn and you have to pull the horn off the buffalo. Hmm. He said, no, it's not really a buffalo horn. It just looks like a buffalo horn, but actually it's um, leaves. It's dark green leaves that are shaped into a buffalo horn. Hmm. And then I said, well, if Krishna's carrying a buffalo horn like that, it's going to get squashed if he, if he puts it in his belt. So Gurudev said, no, no. Everything about Krishna is so soft. His skin is so soft. Everything. <laughs> and he posed for Gornatai. You now we were sitting on the ground and he was sitting on his, what I call his bed slash Vyasasana. Uh -huh. And then, uh, so we were way down there on the floor and he was up there. And then he stood up and he looked like he was 10 feet tall and he posed for Gornatai as well. And uh, I should stop there so that other people can get a chance and see if I... Oh, yeah. In the Walks book, um, you know, you all know the Walks book, 2007, 8, and 9. So, none of us editors were very happy with how things were going because we wanted to take out the names of the people that he was chastising. Um, because... We were thinking that if he could chastise them, then everybody else will also make fun of them, thinking that I'm just following my Gurudev. Mm. So um, I complained to Gurudev that all of us editors want you to take the names out. So he said, what I've told, I have told. They will benefit, and everybody who reads the book, they will benefit by, by my instructions. So I said, yeah, but then they're going to think that they can imitate you and also criticize. So he said, if they have the authority to change somebody, then they can. But nobody has the power, so nobody has the authority. Only I have the authority. And then I'll just, this is the last one, because I want everybody to get it. The uh, fortune to offer their Pushpanjali. That's what I'm doing now. Pushpanjali means offering uh, the flowers of one's heart in the form of words. Like when we offer, this morning we offered the flowers, 
We weren't really offering flowers. We were just, the flowers were just symbolic of our hearts that we were offering. So, uh, Manashiksha. In uh, 1996, in either Houston or New York, I forget. In those days, the girls actually got to go on the morning walk with them. So before, before the morning walk, my god sister spent two hours telling me how bad I was, how exploitive I was, manipulative I was, so on and so forth. So during the walk, I was just lamenting. I'm manipulative, I'm exploitive, I'm blah, blah, blah. And I was just thinking all these bad things about myself. So um, unlike Maharaj, who Gurudev would call for practically every day, maybe he'd hardly ever call for. But this time after the walk, he called for me. And I didn't say, I hadn't said a word to him about what was going on in my mind, but he said, it's not enough to lament. You have to think positive. And what was the positive? He said, just like in the ninth verse of Manashiksha, Madisha na tatve prajavipina chandra prajavane sarim tam na tatve lalita Get the rest. So, um, what is the meaning of that? Oh, mind, always remember, um, Adisha, always remember. Hmm? What? Yeah, Adisha, na tadfe, Rajaviti, na chandra, Rajavane, Sarim, tan, na tadfe. So um he said, Oh mind, always remember. Vrindavan Chandra Sri Krishna as the Pranana, the Lord of the life of my mistress, Srimati Radhika. And always remember Radhika as my Swamini, my Lord and Master, my mistress. And always remember Lalita as her peerless friend. And always remember Vishaka as the Shiksha Guru, our Shiksha Guru and Radhika's Shiksha Guru. And always remember uh, the two great personalities, Giriraj Govardhan and Jamuna, as those two great personalities who give the jewel of love for Radha and Krishna. So this is positive thinking. What I want, okay, here's how I am now, but why dwell in it? Think of what I want to be and think of what my mind should meditate on so that I can achieve that. So I'll end there. Lord Freeman and So I was um I was fortunate in the early nineties due to the mercy of uh Tirtha Padang and his wife to receive some books from Srila Gurudev. And I had a number of them. They were nice. I, I distributed a few here and there. But it wasn't the same as meeting him. And so he, he visited Agraya's house in 1999 in Northern Virginia. And somehow or another, I found out he was going to be there. And so I went over there, and uh, it was a small gathering. There were so many nice devotees. And then Agraya said, would you like to come and meet Shil Gurudev? And I said, yeah, great. And I discovered that he had no interest in taking anything from me. The only interest he had was giving me, was making sure that I would get fixed up and make some advancement. And I sensed it immediately. It was like being, just like being with Shula Prabhupada or near him. Prabhupada only had the interest of us at heart. 
He wanted to fully engage us. So Gurudev was like that. And um, and uh, then year after year, we would see him more and more and more and more. And uh, he would say that. And I, I would travel and go to events and sometimes give out books, but mostly try to collect Lakshmi. But uh, he said, it, you can go and do that anytime. And so he made it an imperative that because he was spending so much energy coming, coming here to speak to us, he wanted us to take time out from our busy schedule and go visit with him and hear from him. And and as far as much uh, as far as possible take his association. So what I've learned from this is that uh, he also he also visited uh, Staten Island one year. Hardly anybody a few devotees came for one night, but the next day it was just a few devotees in this one Prabhu's house. And there were only two people on the morning walk other than Rajanath and Manu Maharaj. So, uh, but I've learned that um, he's done all this traveling just to enthuse us in Krishna consciousness and help us become Krishna conscious in this life. We've become fortunate in so many ways, it can't be estimated. And my realization is that we have to help others become fortunate. If we can't go out and preach full-time like a renunciate, then we can go to the supermarket and in the checkout line give someone Krishna. If we go this shop or that shop, we can always give someone Krishna. You know, we may not be wearing Vaishnava. We may not be having the tilak when we go out and, and do our daily activities. But we should do this. Because, because that's what Srila Gurudev did for us. He came to the West. He did. How old was Srila Gurudev when he came to the West, when we met him? Very old, according to our calculations. You know, we're very younger men. Some of you are really young. <laughs> so we should try to do this on behalf of Srila Gurudev. He, he put so much energy into writing books. He wanted his books to be distributed just like Srila Prabhupada's books were distributed. I one time asked him, I said, if we were to distribute books, if I was to distribute books, what would you want me to distribute? He said, my Jaiva Dharma and my Bhagavad Gita. He wanted, he wanted Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita and his Bhagavad Gita to be distributed together as a set. <coughs> It's, um, but sometimes these things take time. You know, some we have children, we have responsibilities. It's not very easy to do these things. But nonetheless, that's my realization. That's my initial realization that he came to the he came to the West just to help those of us who were who had fallen by the wayside, or we were kicked by the wayside. We, we didn't really have a place in our own spiritual master's home anymore. But he came to give us some shelter. He said, he said one time that he came only for the most fallen of Srila Prabhupada's disciples, those that no one wanted. So. Eternally in his debt. I, I don't. <clears throat> I don't actually see a possibility of being able able to properly repay him. And uh, which reminds me, one one time this was set out in California, <clears throat> the devotees said, "How will we?" 
how will we carry on once you're gone i mean we should try to do these things preach and get your books and and good it said you will you will all fail all those things that you're proposing to me now that you will all fail they said what good if shouldn't we at least try and he said yes that is bhakti so I don't see any possibility of trying to repay him, but I guess I should try a little bit. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey. Thank you. Actually, they're the same, but there is some um, separation mood on the disappearance that we will no longer see our Lord and Master. <clears throat> but also on the appearance, there's some lamentation that um, because of my uh, material desires, I'm still within this material world, and therefore my spiritual master has come to deliver me. Um, even though we have this association on his appearance day, we, we glorify this day. At the same time, we don't want to have him come back again and again um, and just to bring us back. We, we want to finish our business, as Srila Prabhupada says, our Prabhupada says. And also with the um, Tirubhav, there's a glorious reunion of our Guru, our spiritual master, going back to his Ramani Sri Divadika and a glorious festival there. Of course, the spiritual master, the pure devotee, he never touches matter. But even our Srila Prabhupada, he describes this material world as full of miseries. Even for the pure devotee, um, just like Krishna's body is so soft that the gopis are lamenting he has to walk out on the forest path, and, and they're in great anxiety. So also the disciples, seeing his spiritual master within this material world, uh, undergoing different, the six changes, material energy, apparently still, um, this is rasa vichara, the rasa of the relationship. Just like Jagannanda Pandit always wanted to serve Lord Chaitanya, even though it's a sannyasi, he would he made the oil, sent with oil, and he offered it. Lord Chaitanya said, Take it. We use it in Lord Chaitanya's temple. He threw it on the ground because he wanted to serve the Lord in this way to help him to relieve his anxieties, his, his long walks that he had, and so many things, the sannyasi, his austerities. Then later he made a pillow because Lord Chaitanya would just lay on the ground. And in great anxiety, he would offer this, but then Lord Chaitanya rejected it. So this is the nature. And he doesn't want his spiritual master coming back. And when he goes back to the spiritual world, actually, it's a wonderful day. But at the same time, he won't have that association. And so therefore, there's a separation mood that he must come up to the level of his guru and perform this, this seva and rejoin him in the spiritual world. So this is the nature of these two days. <clears throat> I have uh, many different exchanges with Srila Gurudev and I've described some of them, so I won't 
talk about the ones that I have, but there were some that I haven't discussed over the years. One of them, <clears throat> in 2001, when Gurdjieff came to Alachua, the last day he was here, he was going to talk about Srila Rupa Goswami, which is always my favorite subject in Krishna consciousness. Um, even before I came to the temple, or actually I'd come, but I hadn't joined, I was reading this pastime of Lord Chaitanya in the Chaitanya Janarinda with, with <coughs> Srila Rupa Goswami, and it was such an ecstatic pastime. So, the boy said, yes, he's going to discuss Srila Rupa Goswami, and Rupa Goswami's teachings the last day, if anyone was here that day at Chalakars 2001, the last day was here. But he was so overwhelmed with emotions, and I could see that, I, he, he, he didn't talk. He, he said, okay, we will discuss in Washington. I think he was going to go to Washington. There were some discussions about Newman Brown, and he said, we will, you must come. If you want to hear this, you must come there. And <clears throat> another time that uh, these emotions also were exhibited by him was, was in Orlando in 2010. Of course, we were dead toward the end would drift out of external consciousness. And of course, he was always absorbed in the different Ashtakali or Lila in the spiritual world with Sri Mati Radhika. And he's described some of, of these pastimes in his books, and Srila Prabhupada's books. And, and you could see that particular day that we were there, and it was Lord Nishimadeva's appearance day, and he, he was just going in and out. And, very absorbed in Christian consciousness. Um, another day, which I have, I think I might have mentioned before, and not in any of the classes, but to certain devotees. So this devotee, Rupa Manohar Prabhu, in 2001, we were at Radhakun, and we were coming back from Radhakun, and we were staying at Govardhan. And he led a kirtan that was unbelievable. It was, to this day, and I mentioned it when I went to Badger, I, I asked him, Prabhu, you remember this kirtan? He goes, oh, Prabhu, Prabhu, I'll never forget. And um, <clears throat> all the sannyasis were dancing. You might have been there. 2001, they were coming back from Radhakun. And Gurudev started dancing. And all the devotees went wild. And Rupa Manohar just, just, just uh, was unbelievable. I, there's no words. can't really describe that particular kirtan. And so then when we got back to where Gurudev was staying, and right before Prasadam, Srila Gurudev turned to Rupa Manohar Prabhu and he said, thank you. And that thank you was like right from the spiritual world that I cannot forget that thank you to him. I was standing right next to those two. And um, so, actually, Rasa Vichar is so much more powerful. When we were, you know, trying to do Gurudev and Srila Prabhupada, so, um, Temples, it was Ishvar, Parma, Krishna, Aham, Sarvasha, Prabhu, you know, the learning about the opulence and power of Krishna. But Srila Gurdev, Srila Narayan Maharaj, and gave us Srimati Radhika, and Rasa Bichar, all the different pastimes, the sweet pastimes, the sweetness of Krishna. Um, in the teachings of Lord Chaitanya, is describing to um, I think it was Srila Prabhupada Swami, could have been Sanatana Goswami. <clears throat> right at the end, he's describing the sweetness and beauty of Krishna, and he becomes overwhelmed. He, 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 he starts talking of the beauty, and then he says, Oh, I, I've for, you know, forgotten, and, and just, he just went off into this. If you read the CC, it's a beautiful pastime. Okay, so give time for everyone else. Vanchi Kalpa Divya Chakra Pasindu Veva Chakra Pita Vam Pala Nidya Vaishnava Vyam Noma Shila Gurdaya Ki Jaya Raman Goswami Varanas Ki Jaya
But because uh, the bodies told me to speak, asked me to speak, uh, wanted to speak something. I wanted to pray to Guru Dev to inspire me, inspire me to say something. Something. Excuse my English, my pouring. <laughs> And today is a very spe special day with the appearance and disappearance of Sila Brahmana Maharaj, Kiyye, and Sila Bhaktivanta, Raya Maharaj, Guru Dev, Kiyye. And then when the, yeah, we, hear, we, we are very uh, for, uh, fortunate because uh, we meet such, such a Paramahansa like Sira Gurudev, Bhakti Anta Swami Prabhupada, and Sira Gurudev Bhakti Anta Naraya Maharaj. And we know, we hear that this is a, it's a prophecy, you know, like Mukunda Prabhu was telling them this morning. And then the Gurudev Bhakti Sira Prabhupada came to West to give you this. Uh, Threshold is Krishna conscience. And then Gurudev came to complete this uh, prophecy. You know. Thank you for your And I met, I met Gurudev in 2000, 2000 in New Raj. And some devotee introduced me to Guru Dev. He says, "I'm a proper disciple, but even that's why he said, 'Yeah, bring, bring, bring him, to, bring him.'" To. And then I went to his room, and then that he, he told me, like he told to all this proper disciple, "You, Guru Dev, told me to help his disciple. I'm gonna help you. Don't worry." And then he gave me Diksha, and that's like 2000. And then was like a board again, no? <laughs> he gave me another, like a good doctor, like Shiva Prabhupada, gave me an injection, Bhakti, and then Guru gave me another injection. And then, <coughs> as I hear, it's very fortunate, he, he gave me the, continue the Prabhupada mission, he gave me the Sadhu Sangha, and the Hari Guru Vaishnava. <coughs> and then we had the group glorified the the Vaishnava does, and his appearance and disappearance is uh, good, it's good for the disciples, good for the heart. And then I pray to Guru Dev to beg him for his blessing and continue practicing this Sadhu Sangha. And then Sunday, he gave you also a lot of dress for no Prabhupada, he gave you so many books and Bhagavata. And, and Guru Dev continued like Shemari was. This morning speak showing the all the Buddha Guru they give you. So for me gonna take many life <laughs> to understand this book, but we are fortunate that his disciple continue his legacy and then inspired us to con to continue this Sadhu Sangha. And then I pray for for his blessing he can and they understand this Siddhanta, no? Understand little, little by little, and then he understand, follows with instruction and teaching. This is my first Pajali to Guru Dev and Sila Ramana Maharaj and Sila Guru Dev and Sila Vatiyanta Swami Prabhupada. Mancha Karpatalo Vesya Pipa Sindhu Gerva Chao. Dram Pavani Yavishna Vyona Mano. Because there are many devotees who also need to speak, I'm telling two Vaishishta, two specialities of Gurudev and one miracle of Gurudev, and then we should move on. So, 
One Vashishta of Gurudev is how he was able to manifest Srimati Radhika to the whole world. If you know history of our Gaudiya line, in the very beginning, there were no deities of Radhika even in Vrindavan. Not until the son of Maharaj Prataparudra, Purushottam Jam, later, he sent all deities to Vrindavan. At that time, Radhika was there though. Where was she existing? In the heart of Krishna. It's mentioned in Skanda Purana, Atma Ramas to Radhika, Tashramani Evana So, Atma Ramas Siti Prokta, Muni Bi, Guya Vedi Bi. Confidential meaning of the word Atma Ram is how Radhika is always playing in the heart of Krishna. This was one of the first tattvas I heard from Shiva Gurudev in the very beginning. So even in the beginning of many years ago, there were no deities of Radhika, not till Purushottam John sent those deities. Later on, I described how each Acharya manifested some Vaishishta of the worship of Radha and Krishna in a special way. For instance, our Srila Param Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Bhagavan Kesha Goswami, manifested of uh, the white marble color of Krishna, meaning Krishna in the mood of separation, already Maharaj described in full from the verse Radha Chantani Vaishena. So I'm not describing that. But he manifested the speciality how Krishna is feeling separation from Radhika. Similarly, Bhakti Sanan Sarasati Thakur, I mentioned yesterday, he established that Radha and Krishna are one tattva. One tattva how? Radha Krishna Chayeki Saru, Lila Saraswati Daduri Ru. They're actually one tattva who only manifested as two to expand their leela. The culmination of that leela is again they have become one in the form of Sri Sachinandan Gaurahari. So he showed this by investing what Raksha on one altar. I told our Srila Prabhupada, he manifested Radha and Krishna in one separate Prakash, one separate altar. He manifested Gaurnitai to show the importance of approaching Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna through Nityananda Prabhu. What deities did our Srila Gurudev manifest? Certainly, uh, deities of his Guru Dev, Sri Radha Vino Bihariji, and also Delhi deities, Radha, Ramana Bihariji, he also manifested. But if you look really in the large scheme of things, Guru Dev did not establish many deities around the world. He came and he installed people's deities as they asked. But if you notice, in every single temple of Guru Dev, what will you find? You find this painting of Seva Kunj, every temple you go almost. Now, not only Gurudev temple, everybody's temple <laughs> find the painting of Seva Kunj. Right? Everywhere you find. But Gurudev, I remember hearing this once in Ishtagosti, Gurudev said, this mm, is not for Archin. You should not put on your altar and do like for Archin. Because this deity is meant for Ridoy Mandir. Maharaj this morning was talking about what is Mana Mandir. Mean the Mandir in the heart. So Gurudev actually established many temples, thousands and thousands of temples in the heart and installed this deity of Sri Sevakun. <laughs> also, the local Guru is mentioning even those who spoke against Gurudev sometime in this kind of society, you go every temple now, you find Sevakun. <laughs> and what is meaning here? Also, Smara Kalana Gandhanam Mamasila Simandanam. Dehi Pada Padavam Udharam Priye Charu Sive Mancha Mai Mana Mani Beautiful things all embedded in this Seva Kunj. According to your Adhikar, <coughs> according to your Seva to Guru Dev, you can realize so many things and he manifested to Shamarani Divishis here. <laughs> and also to preaching of Maharaj for so many years I heard these kind of things. So Guru Dev, this is his speciality. He manifested the Ridoy Mandir thousands and thousands all over the world and manifested one deity that cannot be worshipped just by Archin, only by the process of Ragmar. Hmm. Very wonderful thing. Now, one miracle of Guru Dev, and I'm finishing. In, well, first one thing, local Guru Prabhu mentioned that in 2001, Guru Dev was here and there was talk about going to New Vrindavan. Anyway, from this place, Guru Dev was to come to Washington, D.C. I was in Washington, D.C. that time. I was working as a police officer, and we were going to have our first big festival. And so I was calling daily to check Gurudev, you know, what, what time you'll arrive, everything. Suddenly I got a call from one devotee, his name, uh, just to Jumna Prabhu now, that time he took sannyas, everything I'm not describing, but he calls and oh Prabhuji, there's been a change of plans. In order to inspire so many devotees, Gurudev is going to go to Nubrindavan. 
So I said to Guruji, already we, this is one week away now, Guru Dev is supposed to come for seven days to Washington, and we have rented a big park and so many buildings, and we want so many people to come. He said, Prabhu, for the save of so many devotees, you should give in to this. So our hearts are broken, we hung up the phone. We were four adults, so not then Prabhu from Washington, D.C., two other devotees were sitting in a car, four grown men crying, parked <laughs> downtown D.C. <laughs> so everybody said, call back, call back. So I said, no. So I called back one more time, and I asked to Brajman, who can I speak to Guru Dev? He said, sure. So then, waiting, 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 Guru Dev didn't come to the phone. So then I hung up the phone and said, I don't know, maybe this is Krishna's plan. Guru Dev wants to go to New Vrindavan. Let's take it positive. Many devotees there. Bhakti Sarmaraj called back. He says, yes, Prabhuji, what you can do, we can have more people. Put a sign up at the entrance of your park and tell people to come to New Vrindavan. <laughs> New Vrindavan is 600 miles away. Prabhu, uh, Maharaj, <laughs> please, you know, what kind of thing is this? So again, we hung up the phone, more tears, everything. Then the phone rang, and on the other end of the phone was Guru Dev. And Guru Dev says, oh, Mukunda Prabhu, you don't want me to come to D.C.? I said, no, no, Guru Dev. I only want to serve, so I was giving the sign. No, nobody controls me. I will not come for one day, two days. I'm coming all seven days. Yeah. So that time, we had a big festival in Prince William Park. And this place, it held, it, it used to be an old CIA base or something. <laughs> but I think Shamani was, Didi was there. It was very rustic, everything. But it was very beautiful because at this festival, we ended up with 400 <clears throat> devotees by the time the Whoa. festival was completed. So many new devotees came to Guru Dev. It was a really big festival outdoors. We were all so ecstatic, never sleeping or anything, serving all the devotees. Very happy. Last miracle. In that place, Srila Guru Dev had come to Washington, D.C. in 97. He had come to D.C. in 98 and 99. All of those times, Guru Dev never asked if he could go to see the White House or to see any of the buildings in Washington, D.C. We were in Prince William Park, is more than one hour away, sometimes an hour and a half, two hours with traffic. Guru Dev called me one night after the program and said, I want you to come tomorrow morning. I want to go and see the White House. <laughs> so I thought, oh. Anyways, <laughs> it, it was Guru Dev, it's fine, you know, no problem. So he said, don't bring anybody else, just you come alone. So then I said, oh, Guru Dev, I have to bring one person because you cannot park in Washington, D.C. with, you know, leave the car. So I'll have to bring one person. So he said, okay, you can bring. And I took Sanatana Prabhu, Brajanath, and Madam Marzata, we went in the car, and we went. We passed the Pentagon, which is, I don't know who all knows what the Pentagon is, but it's one building where they do all of the military stuff. It's shaped like a Pentagon. Uh -huh. So as we passed that place, Guru Dev asked, what is that building? I said, oh, Guru Dev, this is the Pentagon, all United States generals, big army, everything. They make all the plans here. So Guru Dev held his hands up, Asivan, like this, and gave blessing to that place. And I thought, oh, very, very nice. Maybe I'll come to some sense now. <laughs> so we kept driving, and then we came to the White House. So that time, I still had on, you know, tilak everything, but I thought, I have my badge, I have my wallet. Maybe I can ask the Secret Service agent if Guru Dev could walk inside just a little bit. I think, no, they're not going to say it. Yes, never would happen. So I got down, and I went to the gate. I showed my badge. I said, I have very special visitors come all the way from India. He's some elderly. Can it possible he could walk just a little bit the way else? He said, yes, but you can't keep the car here. I'll open the gate for you. But take your car and park elsewhere. That time, I thought, this never happened. <laughs> so I ran back to the vehicle. And I go, so not park the car. Guru Dev, you can come. Um, and Bhajmatov, you come. And we're going. We're going. Guru said, no need. We can go back now. <laughs> so I thought, well, oh, wait, Guru Dev, this is like a very rare thing to see the White House. He said, no need. We should go back now. It's late. <laughs> so I went back and I told that secret service agent, well, this time he's feeling, you know, we don't want to miss traffic. I made some excuse, we don't want to miss traffic anything, so we're going to go back. So when I got back in, I told Guru Dev, well, Guru Dev, we're here, I'll drive this way. You can see the Smithsonian Museum. Mr. Guru said, no, no, no. We should get highway, go straight back to program. So, okay, Guru Dev, so we got back, we driving back, and I thought, wow, Guru Dev was in Washington many times. Only 30 minutes away? We could have any time come to see the White House. Why now? So many months later was 
You understand? Does anybody know what 9-11 yeah. is here? Yeah. Yeah. This is when this terrorist attack came. The two buildings that were spared in that terrorist attack were the Pentagon and the White House where Guru Dave went. At the Pentagon, they had just built a new section. So in that section, there weren't many workers yet, only a few people. And the plane, when it hit, it hit that section and no other section. The plane that was supposed to come to hit the White House, that's the plane that crashed in Pennsylvania and never made it. So I saw firsthand Guru Dave, just by his own mercy, how he gave blessing even to ordinary persons. Some week before 9-11 happened, Pujapachala Bhakti Bhai Bhakti Goswami Maharaj was in New York City, and he went to the World Trade Center. In that place, he told, I just want to go to the top one time to see. And the guard told him, you can come. I think it's $20 per person, something. He said, no, 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 no. We're sadhus, you should not charge anything. <laughs> <laughs> so then the person said, oh. <laughs> you know, uh, saintly person, I'm only working here. I cannot do anything. I, I must collect the fee. So the devotees were prepared to pay. He said, no, no, no. Please, I'm telling you. Definitely you should let us go because we're sadhu. So he said, I, I, can't, I can't do this. This is my job. I, I don't know what to tell you. So I said, no problem. What was the only building? Completely came down. You understand? So I thought how merciful and how merciful was Guru Dave. He showed everything, miracles, so many things. So this is my only for so many drops of things about Guru Dave. We can all get it. Yeah, a bunch of people to show. So, um, today is a very special day because we're given the opportunity to glorify our beloved Gurudev. And I was wondering for many, many, many years, actually until today, I really didn't know why we separate, why we celebrate the disappearance days of our various acharyas and guru parampara. I can see um, uh, often uh, recognizing the appearance day, but why disappearance day? So I came across a article written by Bhakti Pragyan Keshava Maharaj, and he explained there why we celebrate this, these days. And just like he was saying in this article that, that no one really likes to suffer, so why do we want to come together and suffer together in separation from these great personalities? And, and I was wondering the same thing. So he was saying that the reason that we um, celebrate the, these days is because it helps us to, at least from my understanding, and any, any senior uh, Vaishnava God brothers and sisters can correct me, um, the reason that we celebrate this is because it helps us to detach ourselves from all lust and everything, all our attachments in this world. Um, I have one sentence here I wanted to repeat because he said it so well here. He said, solely by experiencing the pangs of separation the Sadaka Jiva gains release from his worldly existence in the form of freedom from his desire to enjoy, from his lust and from other such bondage. It is solely with this intention that every year we celebrate a festival of separation, Viraha Utsava, in honor of Srila Thakur Bhaktivinoda. So he gives um, a really nice example how um, sometimes these are crude examples 
Um, I heard in one class, I can't remember who gave the class, but they were saying that we have to, we can't um, describe the sentiments of the pure devotees um, in pure words because we're not there yet. So we have to give these analogies and crude, sometimes examples, in order to express a feeling. So I gave the example of a mother, a mother who loses her child after birth and the mother takes care of the child for some time and then the child dies. That mother takes that baby and grasps it and brings it to her bosom and, and weeps so pathetically. And at that moment, if anybody brought any money or anything and presented it before her, she would have no interest. So it's kind of like that, like by that separation feeling, feeling that she's feeling like nothing in this world will bring her happiness unless she's back with her child, which cannot be. So it purifies her of that desire to want to enjoy. So I'm trying to grasp myself what this means. Um, and he said that if we cultivate, in our, in our stage in the sadhaka form, that if we cultivate the stage of, of um, what's the opposite of separation? Together? Meeting. Meeting, he said that we'll become polluted. And I was wondering why that is, and I was just thinking maybe it's because um, it would seem to, I would, think that it would mean that we were arrogant, thinking that, well, how could I be meeting, you know, imagining that I'm meeting the Supreme Person of God or any of our acharyas, or like imagining it would seem that it would be the opposite of humility, which we need to cultivate in order to, to make advancement in spiritual life. So uh, if anybody has any comments or corrections or anything, you're welcome to say anything. Um, that's basically what I wanted to say. Thank you very much. Until all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas assembled here and to do Bhakti Bhakti Nirvana Maharaj and Sri Mati and Shamrani Didi. And feeling very blessed to be here in the presence of uh, Srila Prabhupada's disciples. I'm feeling like I'm in the heart of their, in their heart, in Srila Gurudev's heart, in Srila Prabhupada's heart. And this temple is this heart in which you're using all these beautiful words to express your gratitude for his, um, for all that they've done for you. And I'm feeling very um, humbled by that. And also very happy at the same time, blessed. Um, I was thinking, of, I just made some notes in what I could offer, and I was thinking that Bhakti is such a vast subject, devotion that we've been given by Ashila Gurudev, this opportunity to serve Sri Radha and Krishna, that not having met them, not knowing Srimadhi Radhika or Krishna, all I know is my Gurudev and all those that were associated with him. I met Srila Bhakti Ranta Bhama Goswami Maharaj by my great fortune. And my children took Diksha from them, Diksha Mantras from them. And I took Diksha Mantra Shri Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And learning that the two personalities are the same, there's no difference between, between them. That there is only one Guru, Akhanda Guru Tattva, Nityanand Prabhu. And they, Gurudev is the manifestation of both of those personalities. All the personalities in the Shri Guru, Chaitya Guru, Vartha um, Pradakshman Guru, Diksha Guru, Shiksha Guru. 
Guru Dev is the embodiment of all of them. And we need, for myself, I am sure, and Shastra says, we need a living personality, we need a living Guru that we can serve and learn from directly by their example, by watching them like a teacher in a school. We need to go to school, or we're sent to school, where uh, we can't learn by ourselves. If we were isolated in a vacuum, we would be nowhere or nobody. We need this interaction, we need this relationship, we need this one-to-one -one contact so that we can nourish and fulfill our lives. And this personality we call Gurudev is that person who teaches us the higher principles of living. Isn't it? He teaches us that uh, life is not just for enjoying. Life is to, for dedication, for sacrifice. And to make our lives perfect, we have to do these things. We have to follow the path of bhakti. We have to follow the Vedi Marg also, and follow rules and regulations and principles to come through this life and to reach the higher goals. We don't get this in ordinary society. Nobody teaches these principles. How fortunate we are. There are only a handful of us here in this room. But we are very, very fortunate. Are we not? We could be on the other side of the fence. We could be somewhere else in another body that could be suffering so much. You know, and there are jivas who are suffering immensely. How, how, what opportunity do they have? So our Gurudevs, they came, they shone the torchlight of this knowledge to enlighten us, to show us the path that we can walk, that we can reach our goal, we have some purpose. We're not animals, we are human beings, and more than that, we are eternal servants of our Lord and Master. So we have a higher goal, higher intelligence. So what better knowledge, what better fortune can we assess in our own lives of having met these personalities? And they're carrying on through their, through Guru Lev's disciples, through Prabhupada's disciples, and their grand, uh, their disciples, and they're spreading this knowledge through the books, through their own example of living, and their own dedication, their own sacrifice. They're not living for themselves, they've given their lives to their Shri, Shri Guru Dev. This is something that I'm learning, and I'm praying for your blessings to be able to follow. I ask for your blessings. So, um, I'll take a break, March, can you speak for five minutes? <laughs> Namasestam Manuvi Nanda Nanganahang Vande Radhika Charanodam Gopinang Samajuptanam Brinda Vamanuharam Sri Krishna Chaitanya Tarodhitana Sri Adhita Dara Shivashadhi Gora Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare First of all, <coughs> offer my humble 
रेस्पेक्ट फॉर अभिषेक से संतोष लगा कि तो अपने गुरु पाद बदमों नित्य लीला प्रविष्टम विष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तरा सत्सिस्त्री श्रीमान भक्ति वेदांत सिलवाम गुरुश्री महाराज एंड नित्य लीला प्रविष्टम विष्णु पाद अष्टोत्तरा सत्सिस्त्री श्रीमान भक्ति वेदांत सिलवानान गुरुश्री महाराज संचिनांशली आई ऑफर माय हम्बल रेस्पेक्ट फॉर दानवर प्रणाम लोटस पीटा उन्हें इतने लेला प्रविष्ट हम विष्णु पाल अष्टूत रहो सत्सिस्त्री श्रीमान भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज सिलोगुरु गंधवश्री महाराज सिलो भक्ति रखो सिद्धार्थ गुरुश्री महाराज सिलो भक्ति ब्रह्मन परिगुरुश्री महाराज एंड आल्सो प्रोविजन प्रोजेक्शन से सामरानी दीदी एंड आल्सो ऑल सीनियर डिवोटी एंड ऑल Remembering one thing, Chachayo, they today very nicely celebrated appearance and disappearance day of great two Acharyas. That's how we Nektarila Prishtam Vishpat Ashtut Rasna Bhakti Vedanta Shri Vaman Gurshri Maharaj is appearance day. And also Nektarila Prishtam Vishnu Pat Ashtut Rasna Bhakti Vedanta Shri Vaman Gurshri Maharaj is a disappearance day. This day they told, appear and disappear. Abhibhav tirubhav, Vaishnavir abhibhav tirubhav, Vedir matra kahe. Only Vedir and saying this is abhibhav and tirubhav dhipu. Appearance and disappearance. What do you mean by appearance and disappearance? As a given example, sun always rises. Then, now here, night time, if you go to India, completely opposite here, right? Seven thirty, it may be this time. Then, in the morning, or here, night, eight thirty. In actual case, sun always? Shining. Shining. Coming. In the same way, Guru and Vaishnava, Shuddha Vaishnava, they are always with us. Right? This is true also. So saying this way, Avibhav, Tirubhav, Vedi, Matra Kahi. For Matra Kahi, just we are saying, according to our knowledge, we are saying, appearance and disappearance. Guru and Krishna always with us. And all his Leela also this way. Janma Karma Chalvi Dibbam, Krishna said, to Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita, my journal, my birth, my activities, they get transcendental. Dibbam, Dibbam means transcendental. In the same way, Suddha Bhakta, their appearance and disappearance is transcendental. This is true. This realization will come, this thing. All you very nicely glorify, all our Acharyas, Guru Vargas, and animal marine, they are said past times. My Godesha Bhaman Krishna Maharaj always quoted one word, Mad Guru, Jagat Guru, Mannatha, Jagannath. Mad Guru, every disciple should think this thing, my Guru is the best. Mad Guru, Jagat Guru. Jagat Guru means? Universal Guru. My Guru is the best. If you not this conception, we call my Guru is lower than others. You cannot develop yourself. Cannot develop your body and soul. So my Guru, he Bhagavad Gita used this word. Mad Guru Jagannath. Mannatha Jagannath. Here Jagannath means not the Jagannath. Here the Guru Guru says, Mad Guru, Mad Guru, Jagannath Guru, Mad Nath. My Master. He is called also Jagannath. Yeah, Jagannath means with the supreme control of the whole universe. This is more. Yeah, this thing. My, this is more is come. Yeah. Every disciple should be seeing these things. Or yeah. the highest more this side. Right? Yeah. Just in morning I told. All the divine disciples thinking how much Gurudev is very merciful. 
and is so much in man, man, embodiment of munificent and magnanimous. He is always being based on magic for me. Mm -hmm. I have no any qualification. What is my qualification? Then my mind is completely full of lust, anger, and engaged to enjoy the sense gratification. Then Amaro Jibono Sadapa Peroto Nanko Pune Rodiso Ari Purine Udme Diachi de Koto Diachi de Rodiso Bakti will not have a very humble Sandiso. My life completely dedicated with sinful activities. No any smell of Punna Karma. Who will give me shelter? Then Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he glorified about him, Tananda Prabhu. More naam jai sunay, tar paap hoi. More naam jai loi, tar punna khoi. E more nirghin na mure, kreba kreba kripa kore, ek nitta nanda vinu, jagat ka majhari. Who will give me shalta? More naam jai sunay, tar punna khoi. One who listen my name, is punna, my past to me. More naam jai sun tar punna. More naam jai loi tar paap hoi. One who uttered my name, he lose his passage. Emo nirghin no more, I am very wretched. Maha papika. Who will give me shelter? Only one person that is called Nittananda Prabhu. More naam jai lai tar punna khoi, more naam jai sunay tar paap hoi. Emo nirgin na mori ek kripa kripa kori, ek nirtananda vinu jagat to maa chari. Riyya nirtananda tattva means guru tattva, akhanda guru tattva bala di prabhu tattva, guru tattva. So all these disciples thinking, this way, my guru dev, how is minister in Bhagavanima, he gave me shelter. My guru dev, Vasala Bhavan Goswami Maharaj, he also told, Many times Krishna also appears in this material world. Then, many times Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also came. Then, one day of Brahma, he used to come, also he came. Then, but he did not give me self time. That time also I was there. Then, but now my Guru Dev, by force, he caught my Sikha Chodi. So all I have been thinking these things. How is my Guru Dev? This is my thing. Guru Pahat Tukun always remembering this. Not other things. What we still remember. Today is the best day. Every disciple should remember the mercy of his Guru Dev. Guru Kripa hi keva nam, not other things. Then, how to receive this mercy of Guru Pahal? Patvantu Guru Pajan, Tathaschaiva Mama Archanam. Krishna himself told, first you worship your Guru Dev, then what to do? Patvantu Guru Pajan, Tathaschaiva Mama Archanam. Then you can, then, this is very important. But now, will, how will Archan Guru Dev? Well, just taking one flower or incense offering, this is not. You have to express your sentiments, how? Well, Archan, what is the incense? First we do, what is it? Dhup Dev, the Sugandha. What is the Sugandha? The glories of Guru Dev, the glories of different people, Radha and Krishna, the glories of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Dhup. Dhupa means incense, we are doing art. Dhupa, Dhupa means ghee lamb. What is that thing? Pancha maha dhip, jatha, pancha maha sikha. Then, when they do this, the fight, what is called? Ghee lamb. Ghee lamb. Ghee lamb. Ghee lamb. Ghee lamb. That means what? We have to express what this type of sentiments, bhav. Then, santa dasa sakha vatsala and madhuchya. 
Pancha Mahadev, Pancha Mahasikha is also there. How to express this? And mode of highest mode, Simati Radhika, five types of Sakis. Saki, Nitra Saki, Pran Saki, Prashta Saki, Prana Prashta Saki. How they are, how they are establishing eh? to different color Radha and Krishna. Just I'm listening to Samrani Didi's Katha about the painting of Shiva Kundari. And Gurudev, how give nice instruction to her every second how to do this. Eh? No, they are good. Not only the reading the sloka smara rula khandanam mama sirasi mandanam dehita vapada palrabo mudaram. What is the perfect meaning? What the mood is there? Eh? Everybody told very nicely. Eh? So this mood, highest mood. Eh? Even what you say in our Gauriya Sampradaya? Eh? Even the eh? So yes, okay, is, even in market, every can see internet, you can see, even they also put this picture. <laughs> <laughs> every year somebody they do this one. And even Babaji's ground, I also looking sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Hmm. This book of I've seen also. Yeah, you have seen it? Yeah, the uh Gorni Thai. Gorni Thai yeah. Somebody yeah. these books also in I saw in the and um, Jagannath Puri or the depth of the they also there. You know, what is, but this is not this, only this is a picture either. What is the highest mood? I think they don't know this mood. Mm. Just some Narasamrani, some really they express how good they want one thing of explain the mood of you. Eh? This is perfect. How this is your things. This is one. Eh? Pancha Mahadi, Pancha Mahasikha, these things. When you do Archan, this mood will soon. Eh? Sankha, Sankha Jal, Bhakati Sankha Jal, Bhakati Vinodir, Jal Sankha Dhar. Eh? Bhakti Dhara is going, how is very nice. Anabhilashita Sannam, Gena Karmatanam, Pritam, Anukulena Krishna Silanam, Bhakti Ram, Uttama. Uttama Bhakti has do some service to him. How is manifest? And how manifest in the heart of Prabhupada Sani Path? And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself gave all these things. In the heart of Bhagavad part. For this is not come thus Thakur. He also composed one Pranamantra of Bhagavad part. Sri Chaitanya Manovishta Sthavitam Jana Bhutali Sayam Rupa Tadamajam Dadati Sabadati. You know this meaning. My English is not good, but I try to speak this. <coughs> Same way you can also use this word. Sri Chaitanya Manovishta Sthavitam Jana Bhutali. Sayam Narayanam Kadagajan Majam Dalati Sapadanti Kanam. Prabhupada Sani Padhi will fool all the desires of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In the same way as the Guru Dev Narayan Maharaj, he fulfilled all the desires of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And the same way as the Samarani Didi, actually, she also fulfilled the dear Guru Dev. Eh? And then singing this one song. Not of his occasion. Yadi Gauranga Nohito, Tabiki Hoito, Kemone Dori Tandi, Radharu Mohima, Primodo Shosima, Jagati Janna Toki. No. Yadi Narayo Nohito. Eki hoito, kemoni dori tande. Are radharo mohima, premoro so sima, jogote jana toke. Kau puno puno, naraye no puno, sororo hoia mono. Kau puno puno, naraye no puno. Sarala Very simply. All is again and again. He glorifies for Narayan Krishna Maharaj. Here Narayan is not Sambha Chakra Godavad Mudarayan. What is Narayan? Kao Puno Puno Narayan Eru Puno. First one day I explained. Then one day we go Maharaj. Glorify the word. Narayan Puno. Narayan Puno. This is my expression. 
গাও পুনো পুনো যদি নারায়ণ নিহিত ইফ শ্রী গুরুদেব নানু বৈষ্ণব উড নট অ্যাপিয়ার ইন দিস ক্রিয়ু হু ক্যান গ্লোরিফাই ইউ শ্রীমতি রাধিকা এন্ড হু ক্যান গ্লোরিফাই দ্য লাস্ট লিমিট প্রেম অফ শ্রীমতি রাধিকা গুরুদেব মহারাজ অলসো রোড ওয়ান আর্টিকেল ভেরি নাইসলি আই এম রিডিং দিস বুকস অলসো এন দি লাস্ট লিমিট অফ প্রেম অফ শ্রীমতি রাধিকা ভেরি নাইস in the same way gurudev would not manifest in this material world who can glorify shrimati radha hmm. eh? i know when gurudev manifested the highest book gita govindam eh? janev goswami granth i think english also there that time i not take the name anyone many also acharyas many vishnavas they also Why not, Maharaj? This highest ग्रंथ ऑफ मैनिफेस्ट गुरुदेव ओनली टोल गुरुदेव ओनली टोल दिस ग्रंथ इज नॉट माई ग्रंथ ऑफ दिस इज हाइस्ट ग्रंथ जय 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 जय
प्रभुपाद तो कृष्णस्तु भगवान सन और नाम नाम आई से नो कृष्ण इज भगवान नॉट भगवान
गोपीस दे बिलीफ ऑफ सुब्रह्मण्य दैट इज कॉल्ड रसिक ब्रह्मण सो गोपीस दे आस जो उद्धव फैल वी कम फ्रॉम योर फ्रेंड कृष्ण इज ब्रह्मण व्हिच ब्रह्मण हैं दे टू ब्रह्मण वन इज कॉल्ड रसिक ब्रह्मण एंड अनदर इज कॉल्ड ड्राई ब्रह्मण ब्रह्मण दे शुष्क ब्रह्मण हां वो भी वेरी इजी लिख दे आल्सो आस्क दे You give the answer about the love of Premo. What is the what is the definition of love? Eh? Udhav, he learned all shastra, but he did not learn Premo shastra. Come in very easy, guys. Eh? Just I mentioned this. Point these things. What kinds of Prem come? They can't do this. Eh? They Udhav. So. The gopis, how they have love and affection with Krishna? Okay. Then Uddhav again and again bow down his forehead, Lord Sri Chop, Sri Madhi Radhika and Gopi. Asam umu chano reno jusam umu sam brinda avani kimo bi gul molo toshi dena ja dustu jo sajana ab jo patham je toh bejuru mukund padhi bi suti bi. Okay, again and again. I also explain this way. Guru Dev, he also displayed these types of high spirit to everyone. That someone told I forget who. Okay? Guru Dev told I want to establish one in temple in your heart with all mandir. Then all that mandir. Okay. What is all mandir? What is all mandir? This. So this is the bhakti dhara. What the what is the highest devotion service to Krishna? भगवान Bhikkhu Prem, not Ayodhya Prem, not Darka Prem, even not Mathura, eh? even Braja Prem. This Braja Prem also many kinds of Prem is there. Eh? No, in Sakya mood is there. That is called Parakyatta Bhav. That is called Paramur mood inside. Eh? So this mood, for this regard, Krishna himself told Simati Radhika, no Parayam Nirvatam Samjyo Sasadvrta Bhavudu Sai Pao. जामा दुर्जन ग्रीह सिंखला संग विश्व प्रतिजातु साधना दिस टाइप्स ऑफ प्रेम इन देयर कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ आल्सो इज ही सो ही टोल आई कंप्लीटली हर्ट इन दैट इज ही समझ रहा है योर प्रेम इस दिन भागवत गीता कृष्ण से जे जथा मन प्रबद्धन ते तां तदु में बजामो एन अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्केल बैलेंस अकॉर्डिंग योर सरेंडर आई विल अरे श्रीमान तो हाथ बताऊं गोबीस प्रेमी सो संख जलधार आई एम जस्ट टू एक्सप्लेन दिस संख जलधार व्हाट इज द एन द एन द वाटर ऑफ द कॉन्स दैट इज भक्ति जलधार हाउ इज गोइंग टू बी दिस एन दिस एन देन वी ऑफरिंग एन टेकिंग व्हाट इज कॉल्ड क्लॉथ व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द क्लॉथ इन दिस थिंग Had to again and again clean our heart. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Himself taught to us how to clean the then Vidhai Mandir Temple of our heart. Many honored for this. Then this next mention will be first thing we have to understand this way. Then no any smell of honored, any no smell of bhikuntha. Then. Prakti, how to attend to Vaikuntha? What we say to the Mukti? No lust, anger, no even the then this thing. And our heart is neat and clean, as like what is called crystal, crystal. Then this thing. We have to clean this way, and our heart should be soft this way. Then we attend this thing. Then we offer it. What to send letter? Flowers. That is called suman, Sanskrit word. Suman means 
two words, two meanings I just tell you. Suman is beautiful. Eh? Suman, first meaning, that is called flowers. Flowers, one name is called Suman. Suman is called Eva. Suman, suman means flowers, offering flowers. Eh? This is the external meaning, offering flowers everybody. Actually, Suman. Suman is beautiful, man, man is mind. You offer your very nice, beautiful mind, if you know it, heart to the Lord, to the Guru Pahar. Eh? This is very important. Eh? Because we have, we have to offer everything, but then it's the best thing. Eh? How our heart, mind would be neat and clean. This thing. Offer to good day. And in this mind, we can remember it. That's with past times of Guru and Krishna. Eh? This is the thing. Then we are taking eh, what? Chamar. Eh, what is the meaning of the chamar? Eh, this thing goes. Try to understand what they talk. Eh, have to get very gently with Sadhu Simati Radhika or Krishna. I don't want the position of Lalita Vishakha. And I pay my obeisances the position of Saki. That is Prana Krishna Saki. What do you want? Then, the mood of Mandiri Bhav. Gaudiya Vishnu, this is our aim and object, this thing. Tamula Arpana Pahadu Mardu No Payu Dhan Upisad Rubhunath Das Goswami wrote these words. How did Mandiri get salvation? Eh? Samrani Devi. All his picture is very sweet. Just like how Mandiri they also saw. Eh? How they are this? How they are expressing the mood. And this thing also, Sri Vishnath Chakraborty Pad in his Grantha, Sri Krishna Bhavnamrita Grantha. Eh? Sri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, Ashtakali La Grantha. Eh? Eh? Govinda Lilamrita Grantha. Everything is explained this mood, how? Eh? Without reading this book, without listening this katha, how possible this greed will come? Eh? This thing goes. Chamara Dolai. What is Chamara Dolai? This is your day. This mood. Aha. Eh? Jai Radha Radhi Bali Tara Chamara Dolai. Eh? They glorify to Simati Radhika. Jai Ho, Jai Ho, Jai Ho. Eh? Because Simati Radhika only she knows the heart of Krishna. For this regard, she completely, absolutely serve to Simati Radhika. Eh, Krishna. Nothing told one very nice, beautiful story to finish my katha here. In the Radha Kunda, eh, we are going to Radha Kunda Parikrama, many years before, when we also just few devotees, eh, with Gurudev, the Radha Kunda Parikrama. Gurudev katha just a little mother. Oh. And finish this katha. Eh, then Gurudev said one place, eh, that the place called the Sangam Tirtha. Sangam Tirtha means where Radha, and, eh, Radha Kundo and Sam Kundo meeting together. That place is called Sangam. Mm -hmm. eh? yeah. Gurudev said many years before, in the beginning, that time Gurudev, so much love and affection, so much Hari Katha very high. We are not qualified, but his mercy is continuous. Mm -hmm. And he used to bring. Giraj Govardhan Parikrama, Radha Kunda Parikrama. Eh? I remember many years. Once Radha and Krishna. Eh, eh, just a memory Gurudev discuss. Radha Kunda is very nice, beautiful. Day. So many glorifications of Radha Kunda. Bilaf eh? Kusumanjali. Srila Rubhnanda Goswami glorified over Radha Kunda is Katha. What to say to these things? So now coming in this way, the ones that swimming competition is going on. <laughs> eh? Swimming competition. 
going on this way. And if you go, the Raghunath Das Goswami Bhajan Kuti, there where Mother Jannava Devi, bathing place, actually they are very close to, I remember, Gurudev many cases, that place is called the, um, uh, what is called, just to forget, okay, so, what is the name? Just no, no, where there are Janava Devi, Ma Janava Devi took, took bath bathing place, very close to there, maybe little bit this way, this way, Raghunath Das Goswami, Bhajan Kuti and Vendra Radha Kundu thing. Then, Radha Kundu? No, no, Radha Kundu. In, Radha Kundu. Radha Kundu. Radha Kundu. Uh, yes, no, no, Radha Kundu. 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 Radha um, what are you doing? Just if use this word, this um, very sweet word. Um, uh, <laughs> I remember this thing. Eh? Radha Krishna, they, they are meeting in confidential place and they are meeting in the middle. Okay, later. So now coming there, that is actually this is who first to touch that the? That point. That point. Mm -hmm. eh? So, Simadhi, Radhika and Krishna, both also were Srimad Bhaiyaka. And all this, and Lalita, all the Sokis, they are making clubs. Simadhi, Radhika are going very fast, going very close, eh? that place. But Krishna, little bit back. Simadhi, Radhika, she just turned her face, then, don't know what happened, then Simadhi, Radhika, down it in the water. Then Krishna very quickly and, and, and touch the point. Then all Gopi, all Sokis, Lulta Vishika, they become very upset. Because just they just then just to reach the place. Then Smuti Radhika, she defeat and Krishna Balavindavan Vihari Radhika. That time Lolita Vishaka they after Simati Radhika. Hey Radhike, you about to touch at that point. Why did you send in the water and you defeat it? And Krishna? Hey? Krishna? What is it called? Won the race. Eh? Why? That time Simati Radhike, she told. Hey Lalita, do you know? Just I turn my face to Krishna. Now Krishna, he's, today he is thinking. Hey? Today I must win the race. And, and I am so Krishna's face, this is thing. What is it? Varavinda, Vanvihari, So for this way, Srimati Radhika gave. Then, Radha tapped this thing. Only Srimati Radhika, she knows the heart of Krishna. Then, Radhika. Devi koi, Devi koi dhuti mana parama sundari, king ba Krishna kira vasati nagari. Radha means this way. This. Oh, eh? Simadhi Radhika, she can fulfill all the desires of Krishna. What does Krishna want? This thing. Gurudev also explained this kata. Eh? Many years, that time I think, no tape recorder, nothing is wrong. Mm -hmm. Just you also record in our heart and listening and sung it down in our notebook. Eh? In the beginning, about 81, 82, something this, when we are. Eh? They do Parikrama with Gurudev. They think Gurudev that time very spontaneously something. He was just spoke many Lila Katha, many times this day. Mm -hmm. And so just even this was he gave. And our heart this when you do Archan, even this day. Archan not only the Konishta Dikari Archan. People are thinking, oh this Archan only for the yeah. eh, Nephi body. But Jibhusna very clearly explained. Archanam eh, Kunja Sevayam. Jibhu Sipad is under very clear display. Archanam Kunja Sevayam. Archan not means the DDC Archan. They are Archan in different types of different moods. Eh? For this Rupavasma Ipad, he also composed one Radhika Astakam. Radhika Archayami. Eh? Baby the Kusumavian, the Dhammila Dhadi, the Madhavan, the Kaki, the first thing. Madhubha Bimbot, 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 very nice, beautiful explanation in there. Eh? It's good that it gave very nice explanation many times. I remember in Gurudev Katha. 
Rupa Goswami Pad, he wrote this slogan. Vivida Kusuma Bindi Dhamula Dha Dhati. According to the instruction of Lalita Devi, Rupa Manjari, she collected very nice beautiful flowers and made nice garlands. And Degrasi Mandi Radhika, very nice beautiful curling. Yeah. In the meantime, then Peacock came up from Viraj Govardhan. Then Peacock, he was very proud of his own beauty of feather. When Peacock saw Simadhi Radhika's just very nice, beautiful crawling hairs and taking the flowers, then Peacock, Peacock became very essential and ran away and entered in the cave of Viraj Govardhan. <laughs> Then Prabhupada again he also remembering uh, this sweet pastime manifest in his heart. Uh, Prabhu Manjari, he also made very nice, beautiful tambul. Tambul means beautiful. Uh, tambul prasad. Apart to Simati Radhika. Uh, apart to Lolita Devi, Lolita Devi apart to Simati Radhika. Then Lalita Devi, a eh, Simati Radhika, she offered to Krishna. And Krishna changed the, eh, the Tamul. Eh? And then Krishna's lips completely were ready, ready to come. And Simati Radhika just she was looking. Huh? Look at this thing. Krishna is thinking another way, a Simati Radhika sees another way. Simati Radhika is thinking how this. A reddish color means it is what? What is the reddish color mean? There is so much attachment. Eh? In our Shastra, we explain this. Eh? In transcendental world, all the color is what? Specific meaning is there. Tamul Rag. How Simhati Rag? Very nice. That is called? So much? Anurag. Anurag means it is what? Deep attachment. Prasparanu Snyabandhanam. They also completely bind with their love and affection. Prasparanu Snyabandhanam Anuradhi India. Then, so Simati Radhika just she was looking. Krishna very nice, beautiful. Radish leaves. But when Simati Radhika leaves, or Krishna leaves also, radish. And Krishna when he chewed chew the tumbul and very nice, beautiful reason. Signing. And Simhati Radhika is looking. Simhati Radhika thinking these things. Yeah, how, what kinds of anurag with me? Eh? But Krishna is thinking another way. Krishna is thinking well, maybe Simhati Radhika, she wants my remnants. Eh? Then look this, Krishna is thinking. Because Krishna knows. There is always Simhati Radhika, she takes my remnants. Eh? What you not have to explain? Dhanishta, Anit, Prasad, eh? this thing. Krishna just told, hey Radhe, you take my remnants. They automatically laugh, automatically crooked away. Bamba bhav coming. Then Simhati, hey, I don't want to take your remnants. Laugh always going in the crooked. This is the definition of prem. Laugh. Prem, bam, prem always is going as like snake. Simhati, I don't, I want to take your remnants. Then Simhati Radhi, then Krishna what is it? In this verse explain, Tamil Radha Sprota Kapolam. Then Krishna by force embraced to Simhati Radhika and also, what is it called? Kish Har Chik. This thing, Tamil Radha Sprota Kapolam. Then, and very nice beautiful spot coming, Krishna. Adharo Ushto. Adharo Ushto. Let's apart this and this time. Yes, but you know, Thakur also explains, just Gurudev explains. Jaguna polen, ahora ne gya, bujiva juga la rasa, are prema mukta hoye, pagole ni prai, gai vara dhara jasa. Bhakti Mahat Thakur Kamal Manjari. Explain this, I'll go on the bank of Jaguna, fetching water, but I'll say this, Gila, and how Krishna by force, M.D. Srimati Radhika, and make this. Eh? It marks, and then I will come in the assembly of Sokhi and glorify Simati Radhika. Grihena jaibo, bane prave shibo, olira rosiro tori, tajikulo lag, 
ভজ ব্রজ রাজ বিনোদমিনতি করে কুঞ্জ সেবা হাউ গোপি
especially headed by our junior people is good wife and Hindu party and that is because they didn't get to, to say the glorification of Guru Dev, but any devotees who live in this community see maybe this is the best this temple has ever been. How things are running and it's not an easy thing. Every day making sure everything goes on, hosting yeah, everybody. Bag, it goes on bag. primarily by their seva. Just listen There's so many temple seva, but especially Arjun Prabhu and the Bhakti Prabhu, uh, Jai Dev Prabhu also here, Krishna Vila Singh, I think she had to leave. Oh, but many devotees, oh, all devotees coming to dress, me. everything, uh, Lita, so many. But I especially wanted to thank him, especially Arjun Prabhu, because he took over this seva, a very young devotee, and his wife. So thank you very much for coming today, especially Maharaj. Um, Maharaj is leaving tomorrow early, 6, 6 a.m. So um, there's no class tomorrow. So if anyone would like to, you know, Maharaj is traveling so hard everywhere. So if everyone would like to give some kind of pranami for Maharaj speaking of, so this Harikata can stay in our hearts. We must give something. You know? I know Maharaj is shy to... He's not coming for that, but we must do it. Yeah, there's no other way. So, like, Gaur Brahman. Okay, Gurdjieff, whenever we are on Parikram, Gurdjieff would say you should give Pranami any place that we would go, any mandir that we went to, and, and any place that Harikata was, we should support that place also and give also there. Thank you. Thank you.